previously. Like five hours. The scenic route. <laughs> okay, so we've woken up to find that our train has been delayed by, by nine hours. Um, and yeah, it was originally delayed by five hours, and that was fine. And then it got extended to, to, five, to nine hours. And that's just sort of taken a, a complete day away from us where we were hoping to enjoy. Nice full day in Kiruna. We're trying to squeeze everything in into such a small space of time, so I doubt we're going to be able to get much done. But we're currently here at Vanas. Uh, temperatures are certainly starting to drop here. Um, luckily, we're not out here for long. I've brought my jacket and things, but you can see I'm sort of kitted out. Full Jack Pike. The sights and stuff that you see up here is, is ridiculous. Very, very excited to be here. Hopefully, the next time we report back is when uh, we get on. ski gloves so let's well, see mate. how long it takes for this taxi to come after 27 hours I bloody hope it's worth it honestly there are times when we thought we weren't actually going to get here we were told multiple times by railway staff bus staff here operating it that we weren't going to make it and that we had to camp out for the night in one of the one of the towns four hours away from Kiruna. I really, really misjudged how far everything is out here. So I'm glad we're here now. 700 miles, I think I saw to get from Stockholm to Kiruna. So the fact that we're here now and has, have made it. I mean, anything else is an extra, right? Charlie, how are we feeling after that? Oh, good mate. Ready to have some beers. <laughs> Oh, look, Stockholm, <laughs> 9.14. Arrival, <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our taxi's here, our taxi's arrived. After 27 hours stuck on a train, Here we, go. we are now the furthest north we've ever been in our lives. Turtle doves and all my favorite things come and sets up to. Being the three outward going cultural explorers that we are, 90 miles north of the Arctic Circle, we decided to find the closest thing that resembles an English pub. I was really impressed by the youth hostel. If we just had a private room, 
We couldn't have done better with that. I had a sauna. I had a sauna. So it definitely gave up there, but I would say. Private room. Private room. Done. Line bike. Line bike. Yeah. Scoot, scoot. Epic. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, awesome. Great way to <laughs> <laughs> Only thing I learned is bring <laughs> the bus. But Chelsea was more dating. Like you yeah, take yeah, a bird yeah. on a date, yeah. you'd meet her in Kenya. Would you get the sleeper train to or would you get it back I think I love the journey of going there. Yeah. I think once you're done, you're done. The next morning we met Bedith, a Karuna local, who kindly showed us around the city and took us deep into the forest to see her Arctic huskies. And I work uh, underground in this mine. Oh really? Uh, we are done on 1,365 meters underground. That's a long way. Yeah. So, uh, so I work with uh, dynamite. So because of So if you were just by yourself, you can have three. I would go, yeah, I mean, I would just uh, get some company dogs. Oh, I see. Oh, oh I see. So we'll, we'll, we'll some people, when you're, say, working, mm -hmm. take your dogs out. Yeah. And, uh, I trust other people. <laughs> so what type of dog are these? Uh, all three of them are Alaska Malamute. And so what are the other ones? Most of them are Siberian Husky and some Alaskan Husky. Alaskan Husky is more like a it's more a brand than a breed. Yes. He loves to give kisses. <laughs> 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 ah, I see. So is that why you keep them separate? Yeah, that as well. But uh, yeah. So so thick, isn't it? And do they live outside all winter? Yeah. No, it's just, uh, it could be minus fifty or sixty. Well, they don't mind. Yes.